Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I will be doing my everyday look. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. I am first going to go in with the Tarte drink of H2O uh, to help hydrate my skin because my everyday look, I do not use any foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color of chocolate to fill in my brows. Before you put your eyeshadow on, you always want to go in with the good primer, which I'm using the MAC Paint Pot, which I will list all my products from this video down below in the comments section. My all-time favorite palette is from the Kylie Cosmetic line and the palette I'm loving is called the Bronze Palette. Grab you a fluffy brush. We're going to go in with um, the color Tiger Eye. And we're going to put that all above our crease. Grab a little bit of the product and just keep blending, blending, blending. Because with eyeshadow, the more you blend, the better the eyeshadow looks. You don't want to have a harsh crease line. angle shadow brush which I'm going to go back into the crease and define it with the color hematite and I'm going to blend it in with the tiger eye. Now I'm grabbing my paint pot again and I'm going to put that all over my lid with a crease brush. You can skip this step if you want to, it's optional, but I personally like doing this. If it's, it's a good way of doing a cut crease look and it literally helps intensify the eyeshadow lid color. I am grabbing a flat eyeshadow brush and going in with the color quartz and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I am going to grab a blending brush again and I'm going to go back in with Tiger Eye and Topaz and I'm going to blend my eyeshadow in again. Remember, like the key to beautiful eyeshadow looks is blending. The liner that I'm using um, today is from the Tarte Cosmetic and it's from the Man Eater Collection in the shade Black.
my favorite lashes is from the Lily Lashes and it's called Iconic and I'm also using the Lily Lashes glue also. Always remember to bend your lashes to be able to help it feel more relaxed and comfortable on your lids. And now we're going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium for my concealer. And grab your blending beauty and help and start blending away. And now for contouring, I'm going to be using the Pro Conceal from LA Girls in the color Toast. Now, I always contour this with my nose, but this is the first time me using it on my face. And with this product, you have to hurry up and go ahead and blend it once you put it on. But while I was filming, the camera shut off on me. So... As you are watching this, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to blend, but it's this product is amazing to contour your nose. I'm using a Morphe brush from the Contour Kit palette and I'll have the link below. The reason why I contour my nose is because I want it more defined. As y'all know, my nose is really flat, but when you contour, it helps it get the bronzer to help blend it in a little bit more because it's a little bit harsh, but because it's liquid, a little bit harder but just remember just keep blending and blending and blending I'm gonna grab the flat top blooming brush and I'm gonna go in with the tiger eye and I put that on my lower lashes. And now for blush, I am going to go in with MAC Cosmetic Line, and the blush is called Adult Brick.
It's a little bit harsh, but you can just grab your uh, clean brush. And for mascara, I'll be using the Maybelline New York Colossal Big Shot. And I'll put that all over my bottom lower lashes and my top lashes. Now for highlighting, I love using the Carly Babel palette and I'm actually Look at how amazing that eyeshadow color as a highlight. That's like amazing. And her palette's very inexpensive too. Also go in with that color on your inner corner. two of my favorite colors from the Kali Cosmetics that I love to mix and it's the Dolce K and the Dirty Peach. With their formula being a little bit on the drier side, I like to go in with my fingers to help blend it in. I love using the Tatcha spray to help this look be more of a dewy look. And thank you guys for watching my second video. I hope y'all enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Love you!